Good morning, everybody. So this is Dr. Abdul from Mellor Institute of Technology, Chennai. And uh, in the last class, we saw Booth's multiplication. Okay, so that was the multiplication of two positive numbers. In this class, we will be seeing about multiplication of a positive number and a negative number. That is, we will be seeing about 6 into minus 5. Okay. So, we will be starting with the same series of steps. How do you solve? Okay. How many bits are required to solve this particular problem? Okay. So, step number 1 is, we will keep it as same. Minus 2 to the power of n minus 1 to plus 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1. So, we will begin as n as 3. So, it is minus 4, 2 plus 4 minus 1 is 3. Both the numbers are not falling in the range. So, we will not consider n as 3. So, n equals to 4. So, minus 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 is 3. To plus 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 is 3 minus 1. That is minus 8, 2 plus 7. So, we will fix n as 4. Why we are going to fix n as 4? Because 6 is also falling in the range and minus 5 is also falling in the range. Okay. So, now, how do you calculate plus n? That is q and n. Okay. So, in this example, what we will do is, we will consider, as I told you in the previous session, okay, we can take anything as a multiplicand and anything as a multiplier. Okay. So, here we will take minus 5 as the multiplier. Okay, multiplier. So, how do you write minus 5? So, 5 we write in terms of 8, 4, 2, 1. Why 4 bits? Because n has 4. So, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this is 5. But how do you write minus 5? Just take the 2's complement of it. 1, 0, 1, 0 with 1. That is 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So, your 1, 0, 1, 1 is your Q. 1, 0, 1, 1 is your Q. Now, 6, you can write it as plus m as plus 6 and minus m as minus 6. So, how do you write 6? 0, 1, 1, 0 in 4 bits. And how do you write as minus m? 1, 0, 0, 1 with 1. 1 and 1 is 0 with 1, 1, 0, 1. So, this is going to be a minus m. Okay. Now, so, we will be calculating a q q minus 1 and the counter. So, a again it is set to us 4 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4. q, what have we calculated q? 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. Q minus 1, 0. The algorithm says put the Q minus 1 as 0. And the counter as 4. Why the counter as 4? Because it depends on the value of n. Now, compare Q naught and Q minus 1. Q naught and Q minus 1. If it's 1, 0, what do you do? A tends to A minus M. What is A? 0, 0, 0, 0. And what is minus M? 1, 0, 1, 0. So, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, 1, 0, 1, 0 with 1, 0, 1, 1 with 0. Then, what do you do? Arithmetic right shift of A, Q as a whole and Q minus 1. So, 0 will go out of the box. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 with 1, 0, 1, 1. So, this one will come here, this one will come here. Decrement the counter. Counter equals to counter minus 1. So, decrement the counter. Counter equals to counter minus 1. 4 equals to 4 minus 1 which is 3. And check whether the counter is 0. It's not 0. So, we go ahead. So, and we check Q0 and Q minus 1. Q0 and Q minus 1. So, what is Q0 and Q minus 1? 1 and 1. 1 and 1 means just do arithmetic right shift. So, do an arithmetic right shift. Okay. So, 1 will go out of the box. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1. And then, what do you do? Decrement the counter. 3 becomes 2. And check whether the counter is 0 or not. It's not equal to 0. Again, go back and check Q and Q minus 1. So, if it is 0 and 1, 0 and 1 means you come here, A tends to A plus M. What is A? 1, 1, 
point one zero. And what is plus n? Plus n we have calculated it as zero one one zero. Zero one one zero. Zero one and one is zero with one one. One and one is zero with one. Neglect the cal and put the value back to a. And put the value back to a. Zero one zero zero and one zero one zero with one. So then to do arithmetic right shift. So one we go to the box zero one zero one zero zero one zero zero. So now you decrement the counter. Two becomes one. Check if the counter is zero. It's not equal to zero. You go back again and check. Q naught and Q minus one. What is Q naught? One zero. So one zero means you do a minus so a minus m. So what is a? Zero zero one zero. And what is minus m? We have calculated one zero one zero. Zero one and one is zero with one one one. So one one zero zero. So you have done and put the result back there. That's what we have done. And then zero one zero one. These steps remain the same. And then do an arithmetic right shift of a q and q minus one. A q and q minus one. So zero will go out. One one zero one zero 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 one one one. When you decrement the counter, you decrement the counter. The counter becomes zero. Okay, so check if c equals to equals to zero. C equals to equals to zero. Yes, it's zero. So you stop. Once you stop, what are we expecting? Six into five, which is minus thirty. Six into five is minus thirty. Now you need to do one more step for six into five for negative numbers. Okay, so what you do is you leave off the first bit. That is, the given output is. One 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 zero 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 one zero. The first number will indicate the sign, whether it is a positive number or a negative number. If it is zero, it is a positive number. If it's one, it is a negative number. So this, in this case, it's a negative number. So we are expecting minus, and it is one. So perfect. Now for this rest of the number, we take two components. So one will become zero, one will become zero, zero will become one, zero will become one, zero will become one, one will become zero, zero will become one, and one. So one and one is zero. You need to add one for two spaces. One and one is zero with one. So one, 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 zero, zero. So what have we got? It is zero, zero, one, 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 one with zero. That is. Eight four two one sixteen sixteen plus eight twenty four twenty eight twenty nine thirty. So what are we expecting? Thirty. And the first number will be sign. So it is minus thirty. It is minus thirty. So we have after getting the last step we reaching. So we need to consider the sign in case if this one in case if you got it as zero, there is something wrong in the working. So you need to go back again and check. But in this case, we have got it perfect. So the first number will indicate the sign. You need not take the complement. You need not include that number into the complement. So for the rest of eight numbers, so we have four plus four eight. So one number is gone for sign. The rest seven numbers alone, you need to take the two complement by changing zeros to one and ones to zeros and adding one to it. You get the output. So here we have got the perfect result as minus thirty. Thank you.